Welcome back to another review. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Evie, and if you're new here, hi. How are you? I am reviewing for you guys the Bruno Poly Gel. Uh, and this is the whole kit, and this is the instruction books, which is really good to have, especially for beginners. So I always, always, when I open the box, I always lose this book. So I'm so glad that I didn't so I could show you what it looks like. But yes, they send you a whole whole kit for you could do your nails with. And I know that I've had this kit for a long time. I just haven't gotten around to doing the review. So it's finally here. And these are just the directions, every step and everything that's come in this kit. So this book is really, it's really handy to have. So thank you for adding that for the beginners. And it comes with design building gel uh, slip solution. This is actual slip solution. I did smell it and it didn't smell like alcohol. So I'm guessing it is the real slip solution. It doesn't say any of the ingredients, but it does have the MSDS sheets that you can look up if you want to uh, know what's in there. And it comes with these dual forms, but these dual forms are actually from ys nails i don't know if you remember back then back then when uh she used to sell her dual forms the professional ones these are actually it so i'm excited because these dual forms are actually the only ones that would work for me because there's a lot of sizes so i'm really excited that this is in this package because people could actually use the dual forms but of course um, I don't like using dual forms and I'm not going to use dual forms in this video at this time. I'm just going to go ahead and use my flexi hand and do it the way I usually do it. Now that comes with nail forms and these are the see-through clear transparent nail forms. And this is really good to have, especially the dark pigmented colors. It will cure properly because of the clear nail form. Of course it has their base gel nail, base gel and primer. I was a little bit confused of this part because Usually what we just do is use our regular primer and then put base gel on top. But this one comes with a gel base primer and then a base coat. So you would put the base coat down first and then you would put the primer coat on top. So that's the only difference that I've seen in this kit. I'm not used to working with a primer as a base coat. But yeah, and it also comes with a top coat as you can see. I will get it. I just wasn't in this box because it was actually near me. But then it also comes with a buffer and you have a file and it comes with four different colors. And here is the top coat. So it's just a regular top coat that it comes with nothing too fancy with their name on it. And their file and their buffer file with their names on it. I really love how it's branded. I love branded things because it looks very professional. And it's just a really good buffer. And I'm so used to using my small pink ones so I really love these pink buffers you guys see this on my videos all the time and you know I love using them and it comes with a Brano nail one of these brushes just a plain old brush looks like everyone else's but this one actually has their brand so it's more special and of course you have these colors so you have the white and then the dark pink and then you have your clear and then your light pink and if you are interested in seeing this review just stay watching so you want to go ahead and cut down your tips making sure that they're nice and even i decided to do this in coffin instead of stiletto because i didn't want stilettos this time for this set i wanted this set to look nice and elegant so we're just doing coffin tips So don't forget that you have to buff these nails and make sure that all the shine is off of the natural nail plate and the actual nail itself, the nail tip, because we are working with gels. Also, this poly gel does have gel in it and gel does not adhere if it doesn't have a textured surface. So make sure that all the shine is off of that nail. 
So we're coming with a slip solution and it has like this knob in there which I really like because it prevents it from spilling but you do have to squeeze a little bottle a little bit for it to come out. I'm not really sure if this is alcohol, it does not stay in the bottle but it does have the MSDS sheet if you are concerned. Because the brush is brand new you want to make sure you clean it out before using it because you don't want any of that factory buildup in your poly gel. So we want to go ahead and put down our base coat first. we want to come down with our primer base gel on top now I did this backwards because I was a little bit confused I did not notice that there was a primer gel so you would do this as the direction says which will be your base gel first and then the primer but um the primer base gel on top of the base gel before you put any of the poly gel down so light pink is what I'm going to be using for the nail bed to create that pink and white so I'm really, really, really liking that the bottle and the poly gel is easy to work with. I didn't have to squeeze that hard. I just barely squeezed and it came out. This poly gel is soft. It is not a firm poly gel. It's soft, but it is soft enough for you to work around with it. And I also noticed that I had to use a little bit more alcohol than what I am used to using. Usually I just damp the brush and I could get away with the poly gel. But in this time, you would need just a little bit more alcohol or the slip solution for it to move without it getting sticky or stringy. I also did notice that if you do not use a, enough of the slip solution or the alcohol, it does create string. It's like a stringy effect that it does to the poly gel. So make sure that your brush, you could see the wetness. It does. It can't be damp using this type of poly gel because the poly gel is a little bit too soft and it'll stick to the bristles. So I also noticed that this poly gel does settle slow. It's not a fast settle, but it's a, it does settle slow. And as you can tell, I'm using a lot of liquid right now from their slip solution, but also you could tell that the slip solution is actually getting it, it's really getting in the poly gel and it's making my brush really dry really fast so you do have to do this in a certain speed if you do it too slow i feel like the poly gel is just going to slide off of the nail it's really it's a very 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 soft poly gel So I added this on the lamp for about 90 seconds in my LED lamp and it cured all the way through. So that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. I didn't have to recure this. So that's really good. So moving on with the clear, I was really, really excited using this clear because as always, you already know that I always try to find which clear is the most clearest and this one is pretty clear. So I am using, do you see my brush how it's, um, you could see the slip solution yeah so that's the only way i was able to uh work with this poly gel without it completely coming off of the nail and it being like really stringy i mean it's not like a slimy or hard stringy but it does lift up if you don't use 
you know enough of the slip solution now i did not try this with alcohol yet i've only tried this with a slip solution so this is why i would say that maybe it's just a slip solution that's causing this to stick up the way it is but it did cure properly for about 90 seconds in my led lamp and i had no problems curing this poly gel so while the poly gel is still wet it's not cured i'm going to just smash down these flowers yes i said smash with my finger <laughs> just making sure that the edges are not sticking up and i'm going to just add my glitter mixes on top of that and then we will cure I really like the clear I love how it's super clear it is very very clear and I did pick up a little bit more poly gel so I could go ahead and cover every single piece of glitter because I did not want to file and you know my glitter to come off because it wasn't like covered correctly so I did pick up a little bit more than what I did on the other fingers but as you can see I am using more liquid to push it down because it is getting sticky and that's just one thing that happens with poly gel and this is why I keep saying that I probably won't be using the slip solution that comes in this box moving on to the whites in this kit I love the white poly gels, but we are going to test this thing out to see if it cures. Because you know, well, most poly gels, when it's white or it's too pigmented, it doesn't cure all the way. But with this white, I felt like it was a little bit on the stringy side. I did struggle trying to create this smile line with this white, and I'm feeling that it's just a little bit too soft. It does break down if you pat too much. It, it strings down. It just, it's not what I'm used to working with, but it is workable. You have to find just a way to work with this white. Now, I did do the smile line to be a square, and because of the white, it just didn't match. So, I did in the end of the video, I added some crystals around there so you don't see my mess up but i did struggle i did struggle with this white this white is not my favorite but it wasn't all that hard to work with i'm just used to other brands not moving anywhere and i'm not used to this one being soft now their their brand is softer poly gel and if you feel like the other ones are a little bit too stiff for you you might see that this one works for you and just because it doesn't work for me it does not mean it won't work for you i have to keep doing this then it's just it to me it's just wasting my time now now with most poly gels it does not move and this one on this pinky is completely like dripping off because it's just so soft so i'm gonna go ahead and leave you to decide how you feel about this white uh meaning that i i like it but then i don't it's not my favorite to use and i it's not it's not really anything like a big deal you know like i love the color and i love how it blended really well with the pink but i just did not like how i i literally had to sit here and try to get this correct because there were some spots that was there was no white in there it was just like clear and there was other spots where it was just too much of it and it just kept on sliding off it was just to me it was just not a pleasant experience but i made it work
So moving on with the dark pink, this one looked a lot better than the white one. I really love this. I wish I would have used the dark pink instead of the light pink over the white, but this dark pink is really good. And like I said, you don't have to squeeze that hard. It came out so easily. I love it. This one was actually perfect. I felt like the formula is perfect. It actually matched with the clear and it matched with the other pink. It was the white one that needs a little bit work, but this one I really, really love. And I didn't actually have to saturate my brush this time. I was able just to wet it just a little bit and it didn't stick or nothing. So I really like this pink. coming with their sponge file and there's a file under here and I'm using the roughest surface the roughest side which is the bottom well actually it's the side that says their name Burano and I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth it out because the poly gel settled evenly so there was no holes there was no pockets there was no indentions or nothing which I really like that after it settled some of the colors settled better than the others like the white didn't really settle the white just made a like a lot of potholes and I had to go back and redo the whites but that's the only one that I had a problem with and of course with poly gel some of the pots sometimes poly gel when you file you can see the scratches on it and this one you didn't see the scratches on it so I really felt like this file is perfect for this kit so after I filed and shaved all I'm doing is going with some nail art and putting this on there with my little tool and like I told you in the beginning in the middle finger I did add a little bit of crystals but I did not show that in the video because before I took the picture that's when I decided to be like ah, I need a little bit of bling so I did add some of the bling in the middle finger off of the camera so forgive me but this is the last step and we are using the Burano top coat to finish this off So this is what it looks like and even though I did struggle with the white, I still made it work and you can too. It's just you have to work with certain poly gels and this poly gel I feel like I'm going to rate this poly gel at 8 only because of the white. But at 8 still is a great number for the price of this poly gel and how much this poly gel kit comes with. You get every single thing you need for this poly gel. The only thing you don't get is a lamp but you could get that you know for cheap anywhere else especially on amazon i got this kit from amazon and i just i love the way the nails looked like i don't care much for me struggling about the white so that's why i give it an eight but because these nails look like this at the end of the video i think i'll give it a 10 because i still made it work i hope you guys like this video let me know what you think about this poly gel if you like it if you don't like it leave some comments on the bottom so thank you for watching and i hope you liked this review and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching see you next time